Today we're speaking with Romeo Elias, uh, the founder and CEO of Intellect. Today's uh, topic is going to be related to business process management and how it can help ensure that your suppliers meet your standards. And my question, uh, uh, Romeo, is can you describe the concept of supplier management and what does it mean in this context? Thank you, Dustin. It's good talking to you again. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, to speak more with you about this topic. Uh, definitely. I mean, supplier management is, uh, is a very critical uh, uh, area of expertise for a lot of companies uh, in different sectors, like specifically manufacturing, in pharma, uh, even in environmental companies and food production. Uh, because, as you know, today we live in a global world and uh, and everything is, is really uh, interconnected. I mean, if you look at your typical product today, uh, you know, it's it's made up by hundreds, if not thousands of suppliers. And, uh, you know, and, and, and there's there's a whole air field of, of focus here. How do you ensure that, you know, as you roll out product and as you uh, uh, maintain that and you go to market, how do you ensure that your suppliers are, are meeting the standards that, you you know, that, that, uh, that you need to meet for your clients? Ultimately, at the end of the day, if something was to happen to your product, if you were to uh, have a safety issue with your with your drug or your medical device or with your, you know, uh, you know whatever it is, your, your, your phone, it it uh, uh, and it's caused by a supplier. Ultimately, you're accountable, not your supplier. So a lot of companies spend a lot of a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort into understanding, into tracking and managing uh, the processes around how they select, how they qualify, and how they continue to to monitor and manage their relationships with their suppliers. Does that help? And can you uh, talk about some of the uh, challenges that you face? When me, how, making sure your suppliers are meeting standards. Absolutely. I mean, so so essentially, I mean, it, it starts with uh, with understanding first of all, you know, the selection process. How do you select your suppliers, and what are they going to be? What kind of products they're going to be providing, or services they're providing for you? And then you go into the next level of okay, well, how do you ensure between the various companies that you find, how do you qualify them? How do you ensure that you pick this vendor versus another? And at every step in the process, you need to have quality processes and procedures in place to 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 meet. And and by the way, this is not just simply for your own purposes internally to ensure that you maintain a quality product, but also and oftentimes is to ensure that you meet your certification and your standards like ISO or FDA or or, or USDA or there's you know countless out there standards that you have to abide by. And so uh, so that so that you have to have those those processes in place. You have to document them, you have to enforce them, you have to ensure that you're, you're, you're maintaining that internal process internally as you select these, uh, these suppliers and you continue to, to monitor on a regular basis that they are following those procedures. Um, so it, it's, it's a very broad area and um, for example, if you look at it from the perspective of, let's take a case of uh, quality management. And so for example, we have a whole suite of software that we've created specifically around the quality management area. And when you look at that, there's a specific module all around supplier management. In that module, what you're doing is you are doing uh, regular audits with your suppliers. And those audits are there to identify, are they meeting the various standards that you put in place? Uh, are they maintaining their own certification that they have to show you that they've com completed? And uh, um, are you identifying any incidents or non-conformances? And if so, then do you how do you track those? How do you make sure that the supplier uh, corrects those? Sometimes you may find that a particular supplier is underperforming, so you need to be able to have data, information that will let you determine that so you can replace a supplier or really you know, make sure that they change their processes internally. So the challenges are, are across the board, and they can be anywhere from the most micro level in terms of how you manage them day to day to even the uh, you know, most uh, uh, you know, uh, highest level in terms of how you select and your, your overall processes that you have in place with uh, managing and dealing with your suppliers. So what do you do when a company, a supplier is not meeting the standards? Well, there's there's many uh, processes, obviously, there's many ways you can handle this. Obviously, as, as, a, as a, a, a company, you, you have to choose, first of all, is this a recurring issue? Is this something that uh, that can be resolved quickly? Is it, is it a major issue? So this is the whole process of what they call non-conformance and how you manage that. And then and then you have to uh, have internal processes to determine based on the non-conformance that's identified, 
how do you deal with it? Is it simply a, a one-off thing that happens every so often and it can be managed and the risk is, is manageable? Uh, or is it really a, a, a severe situation that could, and then you have to determine is a supplier somebody that you can continue to work with or do you need to replace them? Because uh, it, it really depends on a case-by-case -case situation. I think the key really is that you, as, a, as an organization, as a company, you have to have that discipline. You have to have this awareness that your suppliers are part of your ecosystem and, and you need to treat them as almost an extension to your employee workforce, uh, uh, you know, but obviously they're external to you, so there's some parameters and there's, and there's uh, contracts in place and you have to be able to take all that into consideration. Now, from a perspective of when you look at business process management and quality management systems, what they try to do is bring actual process and standardization to, to this uh, uh, relationship with your suppliers. So now it's no longer just simply conversations and uh, discussion. It's really systemat systematized. So your suppliers have to fill out information on a regular basis into specific uh, uh, forms and documents that you request of them. They have to show you traceability and accountability to any issues that you've identified. Uh, you have transparency and reporting. They have that same information available to them so they can be aware of it. They can f correct these things themselves. So it's no longer, it's not a reactive thing, it's a proactive process. Um, in addition, I mean, there are situations where you need to be able to to source out where where their suppliers are coming from, you know, because if you're taking a, a situation where it's a, it's a food product, they may be giving you a portion for that food, but you may need to know also where they got their ingredients for from. So really, it, it, there's so many uh, areas here that it can be evolved in. So with having systems in place will help you determine and put in place what your where your processes that you're tracking as an organization begin and end. It ensures that you're uh, enforcing that process with all your suppliers. It gives you uh, uh, you know visibility again and accountability to them and to your own team that they are following those processes and they're ensuring and enforcing them and that there's a, a full trail of decisions made, uh, audit histories of uh, you know what happened when, why it was made. And ultimately, all this helps mitigate and, and manage your risk. And the more, obviously, you, you document, the more you, you automate, the, the better uh, you're able to uh, ensure the standard is high for your, for, your, for your suppliers. And with anything, once you have any kind of transparency into any process, the, the, the quality and the standards automatically improve across the board. And that's really ultimately what you're doing here is you're bringing focus and attention to an area of your uh, of your supply chain that's very critical is the relationship with the suppliers and and and, treat and understanding how that affects your product line. Is there any more you could share about um, the good results you'll get by following business process management? Oh, absolutely. I mean, essentially, when you when you look at uh, um, I mean, and, you know, business process management in general applies to any discipline in the organization. Supply chain and supplier management is, is obviously a very critical one. In this particular case, really, it applies to quality. And I think we've, we've, there's so many uh, cases out there of, of where, um, you know, if it, I think specifically, most recently, if you look at the Samsung phone and the, the problems they had with the actual battery, it boiled down to a supplier issue. Uh, and so that's an example of where uh, not having good quality systems in place and, and, and procedures and how you deal with your suppliers, how they maintain their, their processes and certification, where it can cause a huge damage to your reputation, to your revenues. I mean, it, it's, it's, it can be massive to your organization. So, uh, so really, uh, BPM helps really mitigate all that and quality management as a, as a, a specific set of processes that could be running on BPM will help you also ensure that you're not only managing your risk, you're managing your non-conformance, you're managing your corrective actions, you're managing your audits, uh, and and, uh, and all this data is transparent. If you have to make changes, all these processes are, are tracked and managed in the system, uh, and you're able to tailor them to your exact uh, business process needs. And uh, thank you, Romeo, for sharing today. Absolutely, Dustin, my pleasure, You know, and look forward to talking again. Hopefully this was helpful to your audience.